most of our infrastructure is made of reinforced concrete, right? We all cross a bridge or most of the buildings are made of reinforced concrete. And while it's something that we all know and it's all around, it's also a very complex material, still with many open questions. So it opens a lot of interest in research. I am Yurena and I come from Menorca, where uh, it's a very nice island in Spain, where I live until I was 18. And each is really honestly had a very nice program in civil engineering, so that, that's why I chose it. In the PhD, what I developed was a sensor system to monitor uh, pH and chloride. In reinforced concrete, the part that is actually corroding is the steel inside the concrete, so the reinforcement steel. But it's the conditions of the concrete environment that determine if actually the steel is going to corrode or not. So whenever you build a structure, in principle, you should not have corrosion because the pH of concrete is very high. But over time, the pH decreases because of some processes or when chlorides, because of the de-icing salts or seawater enter, at some point it could also lead to corrosion initiation. I think the main difference is that as a scientist, you might have a very big project, but it's usually in one specific area. And as an entrepreneur, you have like smaller projects maybe, but in very different areas. So you go from talking to investors, to clients, to product development, and you need to do all of this simultaneously often. I think it's also very important that you're really up to date with the latest scientific developments. And luckily there are a lot of tools and platforms online that can help you to do that. But sometimes it's very difficult to, to have a system or, or to filter what is actually really relevant for your field. And that's exactly why I contacted ETH Library. So they could help me in being more efficient by doing that. ATI Library actually showed me all the different databases, tools and services that you can find online. The number of scientific articles published each year is constantly increasing. Like Jurena, most researchers use the same information management and literature search tools again and again. We can help researchers navigate the flood of publications that, that's really useful, actually. and assist in identifying content and information that is most relevant to their project. One thing I think it could be really cool is that now there is an increasing trend towards digitalization. There's also digitalization in concrete and it's just getting started, but of course you need sensors for that. I think that would be a really cool next step if we really can use our sensors so we can make our contribution into all this digitalization of concrete infrastructure.